Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage. It is I don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, Tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and, beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. We are living in a world full of attractions, distractions, and activities, therefore, we get very little time to be alone with God. We think, a Sunday Mass or one odd prayer gathering here and there is enough for our spiritual life. We learn from Holy Bible that Jesus preferred to go in isolation and be with his Heavenly Father. During the day, he used to be with the people, helping them, healing them and teaching them, and in evening and night, he will scarify his rest and comfort and prefer to be alone with his Heavenly Father. It is important for us to spare some time and be with Lord God alone. As the life goes on, sometimes, we get into troubles and tribulations, we feel we are stuck up and not moving forward. Remember the boat with disciples was stuck up due to waves and winds. These waves and winds were keeping the boat near Jesus, so that Jesus can come and join them in the boat. Praise the Lord, Jesus never leave us alone, finally Jesus walked over the water and joined them, and everything became smooth and orderly thereafter. The way Jesus comes to our lives are sometimes strange, we as humans fail to recognize how God is moving towards us. When the disciples saw Jesus walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. We too sometimes don't recognize, when Jesus approaches us, we misread signs and get scared. Remember Jesus' response to the disciples. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage. It is I don't be afraid. When Jesus is with us we should not let the doubt or mistrust enter our lives. Peter was walking on water but winds and waves struck doubt and fear in his mind and he started sinking. Jesus know we are human, therefore weak, he always come, hold our hand and save us, as Jesus saved Peter when he started sinking.